thanks so much for tuning in for another fun tutorial video. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you a routine to Nancy Ajram's famous song, Ya Tub Tub. So I know this is an oldie, but such a goodie. And the reason I chose it is because I hope that once things open up again and we're able to go to different parties, this song always plays at, you know, every Arabic nightclub, every wedding. So this will give you uh, an idea for some movements that you can use next time you hear this song. So uh, as usual, I like to tell you a little bit what the song is about. Um, and so this song is essentially about the roller coaster of emotions that we experience when we are in a relationship. So basically no relationship is perfect and she's singing how one minute she's ready to like lose her temper with this guy and then the next minute she's ready to totally surrender and give him her heart. So um, it's a very endearing song, it's very cute, but again it has this variety of different emotions. So um, just keep that in the back of your mind as you're going through the tutorial. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is learn the chorus of the song. So. This song is structured and a lot of the musical parts repeat. So every time we hear a musical part repeat, we will repeat the steps that correspond with that musical part. I hope that made sense. So the very first thing we're gonna do is uh, the chorus part. Uh, we're going to bump our hip to the right. One, two, you're gonna do a shoulder shimmy, three, four. Then you're gonna go to the left, five, six, shoulder shimmy, seven, eight. So remember, the movement from here is coming from your glute. So I'm going to plie a little bit down as I shift my weight and then I straighten my knee and I press my glute up. So we have accent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So your weight should be on your left leg now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into two vertical figure eights, slowly pushing off from the left hip. One, two, three, four. So you want to keep your weight on your left and now your right leg is going to reverse the figure eight. Um, I think some of you guys know this as a Maya. So we're going to do three quick Mayas. We're going to go right, left, right. And then you're going to repeat the whole combination to the other side. One, two, shoulder shimmy, three, four, switch, five, six, shoulder shimmy, seven, eight. Now I'm going to push off my right leg. One, two, three, four, reverse three mayas, five, six, seven, hold eight. So if we talk about the mayas or the figure eights, um, really use your obliques. Uh, so that's the muscle right here. <clears throat> Think about springing your hip into your armpit, right? Uh, ever so gracefully. And if you want to challenge yourself, try to do this by keeping your heels down. So when we have the first one, um, the vertical one, I'm picking my heel up. So I'm starting from a down position. I'm gonna push my hip side. I'm going to lift it, squeeze that hip into the armpit, slightly rotate forward and drop to change your weight. Then I'm going to place my left leg down, push off of it, lift my right hip. Now my right hip is going into my right armpit and I'm going to bring it down. From here, I'm going to reverse this figure eight. So I'm going to do mayas, and I'm going to start on the hip that I just finished with. So I'm going to bring my right hip up and over, up and over, up and over, hold the eight. So if you notice, when I was doing my mayas, I was keeping my heels flat on the floor, right? So this is a really good challenge and a really good workout for your obliques. If you feel like you're not up for that challenge yet, that's okay. You can go ahead and lift your heels and you will still have a nice Maya. All right, let's take it back to the top, the hip accents. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Here comes the figure eight. Push off the left hip. One, two, three, four. Reverse, four, three Mayas. Five, six, seven, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push off of that right hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now, the second time the chorus happens, we're gonna repeat this again, but now we're gonna do two hip bumps. And from here on out, we're gonna repeat two hip bumps in the chorus. It's just in the very beginning of the song, there's only one accent. So, 
What does that mean? Here's what it means. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try that much with music. And it comes in right away, so you've got to be ready. Keep your weight on your left leg so you're ready to hit to the right. Here we go. Figure eight. as well. So when we do the hip drop, we're not going to get into a lot of technique, but make sure that your leg is not super straight when you're dropping your hip. Your knees and your hips are friends, as I like to say. So you want to make sure that when you drop the hip, the left leg stand, uh, stays flexible. So we're going to do two hip drops. One, two, three, four. From here, I'm going to go twist, drop my hip forward, unwind a little bit, drop it to the side unwind more, drop it to the back. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, front, side, back. All right, one more time. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight again. So we have those same three accents. All right, so I just wanted to make a note. If the release with the leg is too much for your hip drop, you can go ahead and just bounce your hip four times like this. One, two, three, four, and then you can join in on the twist, forward, side, back, and hold. I like to place my hands here when I do the forward, side, back, because it really outlines me nicely, but again, arms are totally up to you. So one more time. Let's take it into two hip drops. We have drop, kick, drop, kick, twist, forward, side, back, and hold. From here, I'm gonna just start with my right leg and I'm gonna take four steps to change my weight. One, two, three, four. All right, one more time. And you can add a shoulder shimmy if just a walk is too easy for you. So we can go one, two, three, touch four. And go ahead and bring your foot out for the next movement. All right, let's try that again. Five, six, two, hip drops, go. One, two, three, four, twist, 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 walk. One, two, three, prepare. From here, I'm going to take my left leg and I'm going to bring it in and out, in and out. So if you ever took a ballet class, um, that's awesome. Make sure you, you know, keep those toes pointed. If you have not, that's totally cool. Make sure that your, your big toe, actually all your toes, stay kind of connected to the floor so it doesn't start, you know, coming up anywhere. So we're gonna go forward, back. Just trace a line forward and back. What's gonna happen with your hip, it's going to follow your foot. So I'm going to take my hip up, twist it forward as my leg comes through, and then I'm going to lift it and bring it back as my leg comes back. So let's try the hip movement without the foot. I'm gonna go in, 
and forward, up and back. In and forward, up and back. One, two, three, four. It's kind of like a little pendulum. So the trick here, after you've brought it back, twisted it forward, and you've dropped it, you have to do it a little lift here before you unwind because the accents are when your hip comes down. So down, up, down, up, down, down, yep. So that little is a lift of your hip. We often make the mistake to go down, stay down and try to unwind it back. So don't make that mistake. Give yourself that little lift in the oblique. All right, one more time. One and two and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if your oblique doesn't hurt by the end of this exercise, you're not squeezing hard enough. All right, let's put the foot and the hip together. We've just walked one, two, three, four. From here, I'm gonna go five, six, seven, eight. So it's fairly slow, don't rush through it. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try that again from the hip drop. We have one, two, three, four, forward, side, back, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm doing a little sweep with my arms. So from here, one, two, three, four. On number three, I cross my arms. And here, five, six, seven, eight. It's also really nice if you look at your foot and your hip when it happens. Um, it kind of brings the attention more internally and directs the attention to your hip, all right? So, uh, one more note about the forward side back hip drop. So, forward side back. Notice my thighs are still closed, right? So don't make the mistake to do this. Forward side back. This is not cute. We wanna make sure those thighs stay shut. So really work from your obliques and your waist as opposed to from your legs. All right, so that whole combo again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We walk, shake it. One, two, sweep the arms, hip and hip. Now guess what? We repeat the same thing on the left leg from your hip drop. So your left leg is free. You've just swept in and out. We're gonna give me two hip drops again. One, two, three, four. This time twist your left hip forward, side, back. Now we walk with the left. One, two, sweep, prepare. Now this hip is gonna come forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. So let's try it, just the foot. We have forward, back, inside, outside. Trace, keep the toes on the floor. Now just the hip, we have forward, lift, twist, back lift. Twist, drop it forward, lift, twist, drop it back, lift. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and one, and two, right? So you have to get that little and in there before you unwind. Okay, putting the left hip combination together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We walk. One, two, we sweep. We point. Five, six, seven, eight. You're back on the right leg. Repeat the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Drag and drag. Hip drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, sweep. Point, drag, and drag. Let's try just this section with music. It happens four times. Right, left, right, left. Here we go.
uh, ready for combination number three. So this happens after we went back to the chorus and then there's a little musical interlude, all right? So this is what we're gonna do every time we hear that little musical break. We're going to twist our right hip forward. One, bring it back. Two, switch. Three, bring it back. Four. On five, six, we're gonna shoulder shimmy forward. Five, six, and then you're gonna bring it back. Seven, eight. Be careful when you shoulder shimmy that you don't start moving the arms, right? So really uh, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Make sure you come forward with a flat back, not a rounded back. So you're coming forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Ever so playfully, right? Nothing uh, too vulgar. Um, smile as you do that. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do a push to the back. I'm gonna sh uh, show you profile. You're gonna start with your right leg, push together, push together. Okay, so if you're facing forward, looks like this. Right pop, left pop, all right? The arms are really important and what I do, let me come closer. I put them in kind of a little triangle here and I press forward. So when I do the step, one, two, three, four. Push and push, push and push, all right? So we have just that back pushing part, one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna take my hips around in an omi. I'm gonna go one slow, five, six, and then two quick, seven, eight, all right? If you feel like the quick omis are too much, that's cool, just go ahead and do two slow omis. Five, six, seven, eight, all right? So that whole combination number three, we twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, take it back. One, two, three, four, omi, double up. All right, if you wanna owe me the other direction and double up, totally cool. If you wanna go slow one direction and then reverse the double up, also cool. You wanna angle it, anything you want, just give me two omis, right? So I really wanna work this area of the tummy. All right, let's talk about arms, yeah? So I'm gonna come here, very classical pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, press, pop, and pop, and five, six, seven, eight. You can have the arms come up the body, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that way you open up your hips and a lot of the attention goes directly there. Okay, let's try that part with music. practice the movements just wanted to give you a little bit of a variety okay last combination of the routine before everything just starts looping um, these are the verses and the uh, the tempo is a little bit slower so we're gonna move a little bit slower to match the lyrics um, we're gonna start with the big hip circle going to the right so we're gonna open into a second position and your hip is going to delay on the left so I'm going to step right, but keep my hip left, all right? So I'm gonna step, push my hip from the left to the right. One, two, three, four, all right? So right back to where I started. I'm gonna push one, two, three, four. Also really common to do a little modesty cross when your hips come to the back. So this might look a little weird. Right, so naturally it feels better to kind of um, bring the arms closed as your hips come to the back. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. Now my right foot is free. I'm going to turn to the right, five, six, seven, eight. From here, I'm going to land on my right leg to do one reverse undulation. Contract, push, followed by the chest. One more time. Contract, I push my hips forward, and then my chest follows. So if you, this is a reverse undulation because if you think about a regular one or a camel as we call it, that starts with the chest. One, two, we contract, we release. So now we're gonna do contract, push, chest, up. So it's the opposite of a regular undulation. All right, so we set one, two, three, four. Keep your weight on the left leg so you're kind of in a preparation. And if you want to spice up your turn, you can do a Reda turn, uh, out, named after Mahmoud Reda, who uh, established a lot of the folkloric style in Egypt. And you can uh, take it into a plie and spin. So you're following your hip. If you're like, oh God, that's crazy. That's totally cool. Just give me a regular turn. Okay, we'll play with turns uh, in a minute. So one, two, three, four. We turn five, six, seven, eight, reverse. One, two, three, four. And then you're just gonna sway the arms five, six, seven, eight. And see how you feel with the music. You can do three arms, right? Don't go too crazy with the arms, but I think either two slow sways or five, six, seven, however you want to do, um, should be comfortable for you. Now, you can see that your left leg is free. We're going to repeat the whole thing to the left, starting with the hip circle. So I'm going to put my left heel down, keep my right hip just where it was. So I'm going to face the front and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to turn to my left, five, six, seven, eight, reverse here, one, two, three, four. On this one, let's go heart, heart, give it away. So in the lyrics, she'll say, give you my heart. So let's go ahead and go five, six, seven, eight. And if you want to add a little chest drop, I think that might be fun. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Let's try that both sides. Hip circle. Please be careful that you don't shift your hip to the leg that is stepping out. So what that means is this is what you don't want to do, right? You want to step out with your leg, but keep the hip on the opposite side. All right. So we have one, two, three, we turn five, six, seven, we reverse one, two, three, four, arm and arm. Other side, one, two, three, we turn five, six, seven, we reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, hip circle, one, two, three, four, turn, five, six, seven, reverse, one, two, three, on your heart, five, six, seven, eight. For the more advanced dancers, feel free to do two turns in place of one if you feel like you have too much music. So I'm going to move over this way so I have space to travel. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing to the other side, two turns. One, two, three, four. I'm going to turn once, turn twice, and land. One, two, three, four, five, six give it away. All right. So yeah, feel it out, dress it up however you want. These are just like basic steps, you know, that'll give you ideas for combinations. Let's try this new part with music and then we'll loop it back to the top.
about give you my heart happens on the first hip circle. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, give you my heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. And this one will do the arm arm. So in the first verse, when she's singing the slow verse, um, totally cool to keep it the way we've been doing it. After we do this, the whole repeat of the chorus, the hip drops, the twist push, she starts singing again. So on that one, we repeat the hip circle, but we'll put the heart movement first, all right? So challenge your brain a bit. All right, so basically we've learned all of the combinations. We've learned all of the steps. Now all we need to do is put them together and just loop them over and over and over. So very first movement, let's take it back to the top. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do figure eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we do the same thing, but we do two hip bumps. One, two, shake it up. Five, six, shake it up. Figure eight, figure eight. Maya, 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 other side. Double, shake it out. Double, shake it out. Figure eight, figure eight. Maya, Maya, Maya. Hip drops. One, two, three, four. Forward side, back, go for a walk. Shake, two, sweep. Prepare, five, six, one more time. Hip drop, three, four. Forward side, back, walk it out. One, two, sweep. Prepare, five, six, seven, again. This is your third set. Five, six, seven, walk it out. Two, three, four, five, six. Last one. One, two, three, four. Forward side, back, walk and shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So combo one happens two four times. Combo two happens four times. Now we're gonna go back to the chorus just for one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, other side. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from here is a little musical break with the twist. One, two, shoulder shimmy, five, six, we bring it back. One, two, three, four, we omi, double, double. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, we bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now here comes the hip circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse, two, three, four, chest drop and release. We're gonna do the same thing left and right. After that, we go directly into the hip drops again. All right, we do that combo, takes us back to the chorus, and then back to the twisting part. All right, and then starts verse two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now we've reversed it. Five, six, seven, eight because she says El B Mac, which is my heart is with you. And then we do the hip circle again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse. One, two, three, four, and we'll do the arm sways here. So we know all the combinations. If we just drill it with music, I think you'll get it better than with my uh, awful singing. So here we go. Let's take it from the top a few times through.